<laughs> okay, I'm avoiding this crash because it seemed to be too long. But there are many places on the desert that I can explore without it. I hope this is the best. Yeah. Alright, so Boniface. Excuse me, are you Boniface? Where with the Adventures Guild? Hello there, but looking at your attire, uh, you aren't locals, are you? I was under the impression that the Adventures Guild would send local adventurers who may be better apprised of the situation. That said, I'm not from around here either, making a living here is tough for outsiders. My associate and I are both most tatters. We originally came here to trade in, in supplies at the request of our researcher from the academia. You came all the way from Mostad to the desert to do business. Of course, since you came somewhere as remote as the desert, you too must be must have been around the block too, I suppose. Of course, uh, we know your hometown pretty well too. Well, now, speaking of which, then you must also know what set us most others apart from the others. Freedoms, you drink like fish. <laughs> Yes, though so that doesn't mean that every most adder is a lush. I hear that the fellow over at the winery isn't actually so fond of drinking. How should I put this? Everyone's free to drink or not to drink. Uh, right, what I mean to say is that what we most adders value the most is freedom. How does that saying go again? Go with the wind. Come on, it's actually let the wind lead. Yes, right, right, that's the one. When the north wind blows, some dandelion seeds are blown across the sea to Inazuma, while others get swept away to Liyue. As for me, I guess I was favored by the Admiral. I didn't stop at Liyue and got blown all the way to Sumeru. The climate and way of life here might be a far cry from that of most that. But I'm here, and I intend to make the best of things. So, that's how it is. And still, could you tell us more about the commission you posted at the Adventures Guild? Well, I accepted the Academia Researchers Commission, didn't I? Tirzad, that's the researcher's name, and he took two mercenaries with him to look for some ruins, probably for some archaeological research. I don't really know much about the academia stuff. In addition to providing them with some supplies, my associate and I also rented a few sumter beasts out to them. Next to go, my associate was worried that they struggled to steer the Sumter Beasts, so he decided to go with them. We originally arranged to use a disk bird to send messages every once in a while, so that I could be informed of their progress or raise supplies to send to them if the situation required. We did exchange messages this way at first, but I haven't heard a peep from them for the last two days. I more hopes that well, it wasn't any sort of accident. That's what I've been worrying about, and that's why I decided to post a commission with the Adventures Guild as well, and well, you, here you are. Well, it's been a bit more than two days since I got that. But the desert is very dangerous, and you two seem so young. Are you sure you can handle a place like the, the, this desert? Are you underestimating us? You've hmm. left most that, so maybe you're not out. So maybe you're out of the loop. But you should know that Enos isn't just any ordinary adventurer. He's an honorary knight of the Knights of Avonius. Huh? Wait, then you must be the celebrated Enos, so you know. Oh, then you have heard after all. That's right. This is the renowned Enos, saying Paimon is the famed Paimon. Good gracious! Goodness gracious! Uh, please excuse my rudeness, I never expect to meet a big hero in a place like this, and a little hero too. In that case, I have nothing more to say, 
I just worry that you may have some other important missions at hand, like saving a city or something, and don't have the time or the for manual commission like this one. Uh, it's not like we are always doing over the top stuff like that. We take ordinary commissions too. Besides, we've already accepted your commission, haven't we? Well, that's great. Right. As for payment, I'll definitely think of something. That researcher from the academia has also been quite generous. I can picture it now. Just as they run into some trouble, Ignus, a true hero, descends from the heavens to save them. That should secure you double the payment, right? This deal is a sure bet. Uh, what do you think? If they're in danger, we have to help them. Well, we'll do it for tomorrow. Great, fantastic. Uh, there's hope for my service yet. Cyrus. Yes, Cyrus, the name I want the softer beasts. I'm uh, going to them. Uh, Cyrus, but isn't that. Does the actual Cyrus know about this? Well, he's in front of the Dreamer Guild or anything. Well, it's fine, just don't tell him. No one will know. Uh, anyway, the researcher and the others left the village and headed west. Uh, west takes us back to the forge. No, west. Oh, go west, no. But isn't he pointing towards the east? Isn't that at the entrance? The paths uh, here are hard to make out. But you should be able to find them by following the footprints. I'll leave the rest to you too. Yeah, that's east, not west. That's east. Uh, it's probably around here, the path. But he pointed the east. Nah, check out, doesn't worry me so much. But I hope, I do hope Cyrus comes back safe and sound. Come on. Time to go. Hmm. Time to go. Time to go. Had just pointed me towards where they were going. Uh, and they've been gone for two days, and the same hasn't, hasn't covered their footprints yet. Time to go. Follow the wind. Time to go.
new people on there. Uh, Time to go. He's just like kind of maybe research. Well, why does he reek of booze? I think you can mess with me and cheat me. Uh, Shibrael, you're useless dotes. Uh, how long have we been going? You know, only to get stuck. Uh, if it weren't for this busted stone slate. Well, by all things he's drunk. Uh, there's no way we can talk with him now. Let's go ask someone else. Oh, you look like a monster. Uh, could that be Nectigal, the associate of the Bonfass, was telling us about? Uh, oh, he doesn't seem well, but I don't think he's resting. Let's not disturb him. So, I can talk to you. I just wanted to make some easy more so that I could start business, but the job almost cost me my life. Uh, this is serious. The lie. Yeah, we will ask them. Besides, I thought it'd be a short and even blank trip to, into the desert, but we instead got ourselves into something so crazy. It was a little scary, but I can't say I dislike it. You look cool. Uh, hello, we are. Did you guys also fall down here? There's just no place for outsiders. If you have a way back, I suggest you take it as soon as possible. Don't you guys activate teleports along the way? Looks like talking to us is the last thing he wants to do. Let's try someone else. Cool. Oh. Ah, there's a key. I don't know, you seem like a kid from far. Okay. Hello? Oh, are you the newly falling? Uh, what do you mean, newly falling? Oh, do you have a way out? Uh, we accepted Boniface's commission to come look for Tirzad's archaeological team. Boniface, the merchant from Mostad. I know him. Uh, so. You want to find the archaeological team, huh? Let me think. Oh, isn't that us? I'm Jet. Tirzat sort of hired me. Sort of. He said that he's got any, uh, He said that he hadn't gotten any word from you guys in a while, and he was worried that something might have happened to you. So he asked us to come and check things out. But shouldn't they still be able to send the dusk bird? I'm worried about. I'm really worried about Cyrus. Who's Cyrus? Uh, do we have someone on our team named Cyrus? Yes. Didn't you read the name, name tag? Uh, are almost that are so anxious? What do you mean, a while? It's only been a day. Uh, if it weren't for that bad fall and the heart stroke that next to next to go had, uh, we'd also be trying to find a way out. Uh, so this pit is... That's right, the desert is an incredible place. One minute you're looking at solid ground, the next you'll step directly into a trap. And as you can see, we're trapped here now. Did you guys just get here? Or do you have another way out? Still, we've searched all over this place and there doesn't seem to be any way back to the surface. We have a wing glider. We can climb with a wing glider. A wing glider. I heard next go talk about them before. They sound pretty great, to be honest. I'd love to give flying a try too. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, your little friend here doesn't seem to even need a wing glider to fly. Wow, somebody noticed she floats. Can you teach me, little friend? How can I be... As food loose and free as you, uh, I mean, as floaty. Paimon's nobody's little friend. Even Boniface knows that Paimon is famous. 
the Ignis here is just as famous, famous as Pine Mob is. Let's say I am a little bit more. Alright, my renowned little friend Paimon, can you teach me? What do I have to do to float freely through the air like you? Uh, Paimon doesn't really have no place for you there. It's, why is she asking me? If you practice hard enough, maybe a miracle will happen. Everyone has their own special talents. There's no need for it. Yeah, that's right. Don't get bogged down on whether you can fly or not, Jet. You should work towards something else, like a race with a Shibola Tiger or something. I see, so you must have hired Paimon to teach you how to fly, didn't you, Ignis? But since you're still using a wing glider, I suppose you haven't trained enough. Uh, once you train enough, I'm sure you'll finally be able to fly freely without needing a wing glider. That would be nice. Uh, you seem like a really good teacher, Paimon. Can I hire you to, te to teach me too? I went to the other option. I didn't. I told her to give up on that. Hey, you know, how much more do I need to hire Pymo? Can I sell Pymo? Wow, you've got a wild imagination. Huh? Well, we don't have that sort of relationship. Uh, but in, isn't it just like how Tizard hired my father and me? And knocked your girls too. Surely I can also hire you as long as I have the more to spend. If I was willing. How could you say that? Of course Pam would never leave your side. Oh, that's a shame then. By the way, have seen Desire my father? Uh, we have, but we explain situation with the other subject. Uh, I see. As I said before, Nachtigal must be having a tough time. What with the bad fall he took plus the heart heat stroke. As for my father, well, he's got a nasty temper, don't take it person personally. And as for Tirzad, he's basically been throwing a trend since things stopped going smoothly. Uh, that said, grocery kids don't usually get that drunk. Are you not wrong, Pamela? Sometimes father will have a few glasses as well, but I've never seen him get I've never seen him get drunk before. How about this? We can go back together and I'll explain everything to my father. You guys don't want to stay here too long, do you? I can leave anytime I want. I hear most of you take you guys back. <coughs> uh, there's nothing else. Leave as possible. Oh, what's that I supposed to? Uh, father, I'm back. Oh, is Dr. Gal doing any better? Uh, right, Paimon Yin told me all about what happened. How can you just ignore people, father? Really, when is that temperament of yours ever going to change? Just explains the situation up to the trip then. That means we've completed one of us commission, right? After all, he only asked us to confirm the safety of the archaeological archaeology team, as well as the Sumter Beasts. One of us. What happened? One of us and Nachtigal are colluding to blackmail me. The despicable monster came all the way to somewhere just to extort me, I swear. Is he still drunk? Mr. Tirza, was the price not already agreed upon after our discussion? You even confirmed it yourself, so why are you telling a different story now? I usually have my hands full with research matters, and I've never dealt with business, with business people such as you before. How was I supposed to know the rules of our own pricing? If Chad hasn't told me that you highballed me, I, I should be foolish enough to think that I scored a great deal. Well. I'm really sorry, not to go. Father had told me after the fact that I shouldn't have shared it with Tirzad. Yeah. Uh, Why is getting the feeling that Jet managed to offend all three people by saying that? Yeah, that's it. I lay you all off 
There's a limit to how much pulling I'll take. That's not fair, Tirza. Last ago, and Boniface are in the wrong here, but Father and I didn't do anything wrong. Besides, didn't we only get stuck in this place because we insisted on coming here? Then you started throwing tantrums after the fall and drank, even though you clearly can't hold your liquor. You might have the body of an adult, but you've been acting like a little baby. You. Uh, Judge, that's enough. Tirzana looks like he might faint from rage. Now, isn't the time to fight? We should be doing, what we should be doing is putting our heads together so we can get ourselves out of this mess. Uh, someone's talking sense. So, the crook Boniface commissioned you to come look for me in your famous adventures, you say? Well, I'd like to hire you to get me out of this Arkham Forsaken place. At this rate, my forget my research. Even my very life will be cut short. Since you're famous adventurers, surely you're more reliable than they are. I don't know how reliable they are. Uh, is this the <laughs> double payment what it was mentioned? What should we do? Uh, now's not the time for bickering. Let's focus on getting out of here first. You're right. Uh, finding a way out together is what most is what's most important right now. Any other complaints can be addressed once we're somewhere safe. Uh, see, that's right. See, Tirzat, if you could think of us as sensibly as Paimon, we wouldn't have gotten ourselves stuck in this situation. Yet. I just explored a little bit up ahead and found what looks to be ruins. Maybe there's an exit in exit leading to the surface in there. These ruins don't constitute a safe place and I'm not going anywhere with such unreliable people. But if you're a researcher, but you are a researcher, aren't you? Shouldn't you be thrilled to have ruins to investigate? I'm I I'm an indoor sologist researcher. Indoor sology research. I should be working indoors and poring over documents. Uh, unlike some adventurers who go and start raving bananas when they see a pile of old ruins. Oh, you. Don't waste your breath on him, Jet. Just let him stay here if he wants to. But, Father. He, he's our employer, so he has the right to decide what he does and doesn't want to do. We just have to do our jobs. Uh, there he goes. He come back after father and I find a safe path. Uh, if he doesn't want to come with us, then he can just wait here. And now, there goes Jet. What should we do? We can't just wait here. You're right. Let's go find our way out of here. Are you going to ditch me? The payment for the commission is negotiable. So don't leave me here with this crook from Allstadt. I kept quiet up until now, but Boniface and I are not crooks. What well, well, ordinary businessmen would offer such a comprehensive after sales care? Uh, think about it, Mr. Tirzat. We could have simply received our payment and left in a debt, but instead we let ourselves end up in the same boat as you. I guess that makes sense. Uh, but I'm not staying here either way. I'd be more comfortable in the company of experienced adventurers. Uh, but you're still rip roaring drunk. Why don't you stay here and slip it off first? I'm not. I'm not drunk. I'm fine. I'm coming with you guys. Please don't leave me behind. Uh, then we should get going. We should be able to catch up with Jet and the others. I'll wait here for now. I doubt the road ahead would be suitable for the Sumter Beasts. Good luck. Okay. okay the others have gone this direction. Blah blah blah. Uh, it's a good thing that nothing happened to Cyrus, or Boniface will be weeping wreck. 
Just that. There's one there as well. Time to go. Right here, there's that decided to come with exploring with us. Oh no, you mean the researcher actually changed his mind? Uh, he knows the pros and cons, so naturally he came along. Uh, Alright, well, you get the chance to show off your skills soon enough. How should we enter the interior of the rooms? This is a researcher's specialty, right? Right. It should be a piece of cake for you, right, Tirzad? Of course, I might be an Indorsology researcher, but something as basic as this can be too different from what is written in the books. Watch this. Mm, this is here that should do it. Oh, the door really opened. Oh, isn't kind of obvious, we always press those things. Well, that's Mr. Tears at you. Uh, that's what set us professionals apart from amateurs. But one wonders what's like, what's it like inside. Uh, let's go in and take a look. Enigmatic <laughs> page. Huh, just one of those. Uh, oh, and there's one here as well. Let me just open a map here, so I'll marking things along my way. Um, where am I? This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Oh, uh, it's more open than expected. Time to go. Something, but I don't have time to read. Relation to my research, I'll have blah blah blah. Okay. Wind strike! Solidify! Order guide you! Oh, okay, they're pretty cool. He's round! Wind Strider! Yes, sir! Let's head to the other side. Let's go to the other side. I'm sure 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 I'm Yeah, it's okay to follow the map. We have underground. Brings a smile to my face. Time to go. Ch 
To some similar things on event domains. <laughs> A faithful offering. Fallen leaves adorn my gather. One with the forest. Fateful offer. Oh, no space in the jar. I hate those artifacts. Everything I got equipped. It's already maxed out. Okay, that probably. I don't care. Defense. Damn. No works. Oh no, this is. This is a purple. Uh, no, this kind of sucks as well. It's, no, not, not if I place on somebody that needs defense for attacking. That's probably not her. No, but then I will be better placed. Uh, I don't care. I just need to spend a few. So I think so. No. They, they must have some good equips maxed out. Uh, why do I have that? I must have changed with somebody else. And that's why I have those here. Uh, yeah. I got up. Something, sometime with time invasion. Stop to fix those. are probably good good enough
Alright. That should be enough to go for the dungeon. Clearance. Oh, well. Oh. Hmm, I can't actually that. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Hmm. Oh. Uh, well, he's maxed out now. So, let's remove him. For a while. Now it's removed only. Perfect. Stay close and you will live. Shine down! <laughs> That's more like it. Oh, there's an order. No? Okay. I guess I should change my item for that one. Illusion shattered. Go, go, Baron Bunny. First, wind strider. Shot. Possibly get 50% more damage if I cared about those uh, artifacts. I don't have claims. So rest something like this. Uh, let's go ask him. Brings a smile to my face. Uh, okay, this is here. Okay. And you guys can't see my map, so big deal I'm saying here or there. Uh, we've been walking around for a while without making any progress. Of course we made progress. Uh, so why don't we take a little rest? Are kidding? It's hardly been any time at all, and you're already thinking of resting. Uh, I said it before, didn't I? I am an indorsology researcher. I should never have come out into the middle of nowhere like this. Weren't you walking around the desert? 
Wait a minute, I was confused. Wasn't the archaeology mission your idea? Jesse Jabrahel, Jabrahel and Noctigal only came because you heard them, right? Yes, that's correct. So it was your idea then. Uh, why have you been dragging your feet this whole time? If you didn't know the truth, I would think that Jabrahel must have kidnapped you and got to get some legendary treasure in the ruins or something. Huh, you're pretty funny, Paimon. My father may be a grump, but he never does something like that. <laughs> uh, don't get mad at Paimon. Paimon's only telling you like it is. Don't bully Paimon. Come on, he's not bullying Paimon. Paimon's bullying him. I'm sorry, my father really isn't a bad guy, believe me. Then why is Tears that so unmotivated? It's because I don't care for the top care all. If it weren't for these accursed stones late, I'm always being told to be original in my research and to find material that no one has ever worked on before. What's the value of or meaning of research if everyone is just following their heart or reproducing each other's works? Or uh, so I've been told. Uh, but what am I compared to such long-standing academic tradition and all my seniors in research? I'm no academic genius, so what can I think of that others can't? There are no academic gaps left these days that I can identify and fill. Uh, Paimon doesn't really get academic stuff either, but since this is your job, you should take it seriously. I do, and I give it my all. Why else would I have spent so much more to come to this Arkham Forsaken place? It's funny, but this Scarlet Saints late was actually the research project of a relative of mine. She was originally a young researcher with limitless promise, but one day she left the family behind and eloped in with some wild boy from who knows where. Uh, I heard that they fled into this desert back in those days. Unfortunately, I was a kid and only saw her a few times. I can't even remember what she looked like. Other more reason to buck up, since you are researching the same thing. There's a chance for a reunion, isn't there? Fate is an unpredictable thing, after all. Huh. Even if we really did meet again, and even if we really recognized each other, how could I even face her? The way I am now, I'm no different from a stray dog, living off the scraps thrown away by others. Since I'm incapable of constructing my own theories, all I could do was take my chances in the field and see if I could dig up any new materials to base my paper on. So, when it comes to King Dashrat, the. Ah, oh, this time didn't appear the Scarlet King on top of the name. The academic community has long since concluded that he was just another self destructive tyrant. Speaking of which, she must have left the stone slayed behind when she left back then, because even she knew this lost thing had no research value. Uh, and yet, I look at it to be a treasure. I took it to be a treasure. Uh, this silly stone slate, I must have been out of my mind to think I'd really be able to stumble upon something. Still, Paimon doesn't think you should lose heart. Because, because we often make surprising discoveries while exploring ruins like this, right? There will be at least a, there will at least be treasure chests for sure. It's also good to see everything with our own eyes. Uh, yeah, treasure chests. Although those might not be much use to tears out. Uh, none of you have ever done serious academic research. How could you possibly understand me or the difficulties of being a researcher? Stop talking like a child. The academia might control the route to academic publication, but they don't have a monopoly on knowledge itself. 
if this is all you know about King Dash Threat, then you should have been on Acad Academia for from the very beginning because it's clear you won't get any results. Father, you you're just a paid mercenary. What right have you to comment on my ideas? So far, you seem to have pretty little in the way of professional credentials as a researcher. That much you already admitted yourself. Me? I'm you. Is that get so worked up that the blood rushes to his head? Hmm. What happened? Will he be okay? He passed out? I didn't have time to read it all. We should keep a closer eye on him after that, after this, and not let him drink anymore. Uh, he must not have completely sober up yet when father made him so mad uh, that all the blood rushed to his head. That was weird though. Why have to get him so why do you have to get so mad at him? We can't stop just because he keeps dragging his feet. Um, but we can't just leave him here either. I'll stay behind and keep him safe. Meanwhile, you and Jet keep looking for an exit. Well, what should we do now? Time is a question. Alright, let's keep exploring then. Leave tears out to my father. You have nothing to worry about. I'll come with you guys. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. He we probably shouldn't wake him up. Let's get a move on. Enough dawdling. Okay. Enough dawdling. There is no escape! Time to go. Yeah. Uh, some seems off of the place there. Careful now. What's that? That's the credentials I needed. A familiar. Beep. Oh, is it a companion? I like it already. It's moving. Mm, looks a lot like the one we just knocked down. Still, it doesn't look like it's going to attack us. On second thought, it can float in the air just like Paimon. Doesn't make them distant relatives. Paimon would sooner be related to a pigeon. You probably are. Bit bit. Okay. Uh, this thing's making weird noises again. Uh, where's the sound coming from, anyway? Uh, is it really not going to turn on us out of the blue? You just don't let it guard down. Can you try talking to it, Paimon? Uh, look, you two are about the same size, so you should be able to talk to each other, right? Her logic is weird. How is Paimon supposed to talk to it? Oh, you're messing with Paimon on purpose, aren't you? Uh. Looks like this other device. Should we pick it up and try using it? Ah, uh, you scared Pyro? It doesn't seem to want to do that. Can you understand it, Jack? I can't understand the meaning, but I can get the feeling. What a weird thing. Uh, I think 
It's a lot like you, Paimon. You both look really cute. I almost told you, we're nothing alike. Well, yeah, you're round and cute, Paimon, and it seems a little... okay. Uh, but it's still very cute. Paimon doesn't... totally doesn't get your standards for cute. I think Paimon's cute too. I don't get it either. Right, so that makes two of us. I don't know why it's here or what it's for, but maybe Tirzan will understand if you can get him to take a look at it. Uh, what should we ca I call you when you come? Beep boop. I'm on floats, but you're a little lower off from the ground, so I'll call you Bang Bang. What does that mean? You like this name too? That's great. How do those two even communicate? That's amazing. Jet's a strange one. To be honest, Pamu kind of admires her in a way. Benben, it must be boring hanging around here by yourself. Uh, why don't you come with us? Needless to say, it is pretty great too. As for Paimon, she might act a little superior, but she's a good kid who thinks about her companions. You'll definitely come to like her in time. Paimon doesn't act super anything. Anyway, Paimon's not gonna fight lower for anyone. Otherwise, Paimon will breathe in a whole lot of sand. Uh, come look for my father with us. He may look mean, but actually... Well, he actually is kind of mean. But that's just how he is with outsiders. He's nice once you get to know him. And even though Tirzad is a useless researcher, he's not actually a bad guy, right? And you might even be able to save his research, Bam Bam. Okay, its name isn't Bam Bam yet. Well, wanna come with us, Bam Bam? Uh, that's great. He said yes. Uh, really? And you... Are you guys really talking to each other? Don't worry, Paimon. Bebe and I are already joined in the heap. Right, Bebe? Uh, well, let's go back to where my father is. Maybe Tirza has already woken up. Provided he doesn't open up his eyes on to see Shebrael. And get some mad that he passes out again. I never know. Oh, I thought I could equip. It looks like equipable. Father, I brought another new frame back. Look, this is the frame we just met. Its name is Batman. And now it is called Batman. Uh, Tears is awake. Looks like things are going well with Father. I don't know how you came to that ridiculous conclusion, but let's not discuss that for now. What I'm most concerned about now is what is that thing? Did I just introduce you? This is our new frame, Batman. This doesn't seem like something that could be classified as a friend, could it? Uh, doesn't this look a little like the same thing that just attacked us? You don't have a lot of friends, do you, Trizad? No, I don't. Wait, what does that have to do with this? You're way too uptight. You just need an open mind, and you'll be swimming in friends in all time. Isn't that right, baby? Hey, you're too lax. So, you don't know what Bebe is either. Its time must be related to the regards. I don't know exactly how to operate it for. Uh, but this unique kind doesn't attack outsiders and can even communicate to a certain extent. 
I don't remember reading anything about this. Here's that. What is it? Isn't that amazing news? This is the material that no one has worked on before. Hmm. Wait a minute, could it be? No, it's too early to celebrate just yet. Maybe I was too narrow-minded and just skipped any relevant prior research on it. Maybe someone has already published 10 treatises and fully studied Ben Ben's genealogy. Why does this guy always jump to the worst conclusions? Wait a minute, something doesn't seem right about it. Uh, what is it, Batman? Are you... Oh, Batman su should be reacting to Tirzad's stone slate. We haven't seen the stone slate yet. Tirzad picked the stone slate up and walked towards Batman. I hired you. Don't tell me what to do. Whoa. Oh, Batman, you're amazing. What, what happened? Uh, Paimon doesn't completely understand what he's saying, but he seems happy. Small portion of this lay lit up. What does it mean? Uh, do you have any idea, Tirzad? Ah, now we're seeing this late. Uh, it's hard to say, only a portion was lit up. Besides, I've told you all before. Vigor is key to academic research, and you don't want to jump to conclusions, right? Oh, uh, yes, that's true. It looks like you just have to find a way to lit up the rest of the stone slates. Right, man, man? Uh, hold on, I have a serious request to make of you. Uh, this has nothing to do with Jibra or Jet, so I kindly ask that you give us some space. Uh, you're gonna reveal some kind of secret? Come on, I wanna hear it too. Jet, mind your own business. But father, we're all companions here. Doesn't that make it our business? Fine. Give you all the space you want. Let's go, Batman. Uh, what's the matter? Why are you getting so serious all of a sudden? Can you help me? You take care of this stone slate. Uh, isn't it really important? It is, and that's why I want you to take care of it. And to be honest, seeing it lit up like that made me makes me uneasy. I don't trust myself if something were to happen. Besides, the weird thing also seems to have some sort of response to it. The weird thing, you mean, Batman? Uh, wouldn't it be better to give the stone slate to Jet to look after? No, uh, I'm, I mean, absolutely not. How do I put this? Alright, I don't trust Jebrail. I feel like he has an ulterior motive. And since Jet is his daughter, they are obviously going to be in the same camp. Uh, Jebrail might be a man of few words, but Paimon thinks he's very reliable. Could you be overthinking this, Tirzat? Just said it before, he's from the desert. Can really trust the desert people. I sort of believe that Boniface didn't defraud me. What do you think, Ignus? My backpack's pretty big. This stone slate isn't heavy either. I don't have two options there are the same. Again. I'm on best so. Thank you. You are the only ones I can rely on in in this vast sea of sand. You received the Scarlet Sense Lady, and there's a that interested you. Fine, we'll take care of it for you, for the time being. You are a huge help. Okay, fine. The activated Scarlet Sense Lady possess special clearance that will allow you to control various devices within the ruins King Desert left behind. As you would venture further in, the Scarlet Saints Lady will progressively display key locations throughout the rooms. Follow this latest guidance, 
and use special clearance to unlock these devices. And you may yet reach places that none before you ever have. Well, people who build it have. This scenery is wonderful. Oh. Hey, are you done whispering to each other yet? There's ants ready to set off now. We should find an exit as soon as possible. Uh, I don't need you to speak for me. Uh, that said, I am indeed ready to set off whenever. Great, it's been a productive day. And I got a feeling that we'll find a way out in no time. Batman and I will go ahead, everyone else can follow us. Uh, Jet and Batman sure have hit it off. That's good, right? Oh, that's a lot of meat. A fateful offering. Time to go. There should be a purple thing there. No, I think it's just saying glitter. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Illusion shattered, torn to oblivion. Strider. 
that's where I just came from. Something here. Just mark that. It's uh, just a moment. Oh, there's that. See, that's why I'm not good. He brings a smile to my face. some marks. If you breeze, the exit must be close by. Keep looking. We'll be out here in no time. Although we can finally leave. Although it's certain to be nothing but sand from miles around out there. At least we'll be able to see the sky. That's true. Uh, where, where do you guys get all that energy from? First it's exploring, then it's fighting. Let's slow down a little. You and father are the same age, aren't you? Tears up. How many times have you stopped to rest, Philpar? The mind of a child, the body of an old man. Jeez. Uh, I told you, I am an indoor. Forget it. I'm the employer, so just listen to me. Everyone rests with tears up for a while. Uh, oh, if it isn't enough to go. Uh, there you are. When the door on the other side suddenly opened, I knew you found an exit. I brought Cyrus and the others over. Oh, that was pretty brave of you. What if it wasn't a shortcut at all, but a trap? Uh, you got a point. You mean that it didn't, it didn't even occur to you? Well, everything worked out fine in the end. We've reunited, haven't we? Uh, that's enough. Uh, by the way, We've got a new neighbor here. That's great. And that's a free most tighter for you. Uh, but it's better to be cautious at times like this. But isn't it great that we don't have to double back to rendezvous? Now we can find the exit together. Follow the wind and find your way out. But don't let your guard down. Okay, got it. Can we see the wind? No. I suppose I am supposed to follow the that side. Uh, 
Ah, here. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Uh, I'm all alone. I don't know, there may be some luck back there. We'll have to come back here. Illusion shattered! That is a way out, I guess. Uh, hey, I'm inside a building. I guess I am almost finished with that quest. That's from the elevator out of here. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Uh, and there should be. Talk to the old man because he's having a problem with that. Ah, here. Hey, and I'm out. 
Okay, I will return to the people over there. Time to go. Okay, let's continue to follow this city. Is that actually how you feel reason from the rings? Got a beach, press me, let's go over there. It looks like an exit. I guess this is the end of Time the quest. Well, now I have clearance to fiddle around. Look at this. says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Time to go. That's the end. Uh, I've never thought that there'd be such a place in the desert. Jump on gold setting. Uh, it's quite safe around here, right? Uh, I can finally relax. Can bang bang get wet? It shouldn't be a problem, right? Actually, let's just keep it away from water. Why is you thinking like that? Ring guards go on water all the time. It's not like they use circuitry like our computers. Watch your eyes rest in the west, set up campsite. saying something chat but it seems a little and maybe he's recall his past life in the desert if only he tell us some stories of his past at night I finally got a chance to pull my feet up I should really plan ahead for my next job now Okay, just a good set track. Every time I stumble upon oasis, I can't help wondering who put this stretch of water here. It's almost as if they mean to provide a rest stop for adventurers. Uh, let's take this opportunity to inspect our supplies. We've got to use the this bird to send Bonifaz a letter and tell him we're safe now. I don't get it. Why did this bird didn't work before? Where's the father?
Tô sentado. Ah. I wonder if a paper can be written from Ben Ben and Jet's interaction. But which field would it belong to? Seems like he's taking a piss. Let him be. What is it? Uh, it isn't anything important. Whose gravestone is this? Who knows? Maybe it belongs to a nameless researcher who has tried their luck like Terzad, but they didn't roll high like they did. Oh, ah, so they're a family. Uh, King Deshret's secrets rarely reveal themselves to mortals. Tirza gave you the stone slate, right? Uh, how do you know? Keep it safe. It's important. You can be unaware of its value, surely. Well, its value to whom? To our employer, of course. After all, he is depending on it to write his paper. Anyway, let's head back. We shouldn't keep Jet and the others waiting too long. So don't watch. The golden sandstorm in Burning Sun will exercise the darkness on your behalf, guiding you to guiding you who perish here and returning your spirit to the eternal oasis. Time to go! Time to go. So, Ignus, I heard from Dr. Hall that you beat up Storm Tower and were made an honorary knight for that achievement. Pardon me, but while you are quite skilled, are you really that powerful? Of course, Ignis is a hero in Mostat. You tell them about your adventures in Mostat? That's amazing. Well, books have been my only companion since I can remember, and I've never had a chance to travel far. Actually, this is my first time traveling so far from home. Right, here's that an indoor, an indoor solid researcher, eh? Wow, that sounds so lame. Uh, I don't want to admit it, but my life has been blank if compared to all of yours. Just like this desert, it's practically impossible for those who lack strength to find a single unoccupied oasis. Uh, if you are so unhappy, then why not do something else? How about being a traveling merchant like Nachtigall? Or do something you're good at, like me and my father? That's not bad at all, is it? isn't it? Uh, it's not that easy. I come from a family of academics, so I've been receiving training like this since I was a child. Uh, like how a farmer's son learns to farm, or a blacksmith's son learns to strike an iron, while I'm doing, I'm not doing great and can compare to the talented and established researchers of my family. But as things stand, I'm afraid I can't just do something else. Uh, I guess I drank a little too much earlier. Why am I even telling you all this? Well, just laugh if you want. I think I'm being too stubborn. There's always a choice in life. I mean, just look at Boniface and I. We weren't born as traveling merchants. And no one in our families has even been to Sumeru. But we're still here with the northern wind on, at our backs. Uh, we don't regret our choice at all. Seeing the boundless world unfold before your, our eyes fill us with a sense of freedom. Yeah, I too think that you're talking things, taking things a little too seriously. Here's that. Right, like that relative you mentioned earlier. Didn't she give up her family's rules, traditions, and everything else to live the life, the life she wanted? 
Maybe she's somewhere in this very desert, just like us. Bathing under the milky white rays of moonlight and braving the dry night breeze while looking back at the great day she just had. Uh, if only I had an iota of her courage. I never knew making decisions would be this difficult because I've never given them any thought. I think I've lived the life I wanted for as long as I can remember. That's really... Making choices is never easy. Is that so? Choosing one means giving up on the rest. Uh, wait, is this like saying that there are 10 tasty dishes in front of Paimon and that choosing one will make the other 9 vanish? Oh no, if only there were 10 Paimons to choose each one. It's like the branches on a tree. While they come from the same roots, their endless divisions makes makes so some may not touch each other for decades or even centuries. Only when the entire tree withers and its trunk decays, will those separated branches finally meet the soil. Uh, speaking of which, why did you choose to leave the desert, father? You rarely mention your past, so I see all this very differently from Tirza. I don't have family traditions, and I don't even remember my mother's face. I only have you, and you only have me. There is no large tree and no branches that tie us together. You might have left the desert long ago, and this might be my first time seeing it for myself. But I have this feeling that we are like grains of sand here in the desert. No family, no objective, but what we, what we are is pretty free. Yeah. The desert holds only the past, it has no future. If what lies beneath the sand and wind can be described as the truth, then I can only say that it perhaps isn't something that will bring joy to everyone. I gave up on the path of seclusion not because it's a mistaken path, but because I found a better path. Jeff, I hope you'll be able to take that right path. I don't really understand you. If, if the path of sin isn't what you desire, then why accept Tirzat's commission? Don't tell me it's because you want to take a look at your past. I think you just can't forget the deserts and the hollow winds that sweep it. The strange things, the strange thing is that I have no memories of the deserts, but coming here makes me feel like I've returned home all the same. I love the same, I, just like I love Paimon and Bamban. This is a place with hope too, I'm sure of it. Isn't finding Bamban proof of that? Uh, um, it'll be a new day tomorrow. The ruins ahead are still waiting to be explored. Keep your chin up, tears out. No matter what others say, I think you are a brave person. You've taken the first step and left the comforts of your home. Now just do as you've always done. Just do as you've already done, and take the second step, then the third. I'm sure you'll get to the place where no one has been, and find that special research material of yours. Mm. Even you can occasionally say some nice things in chat. I'm just speaking my mind, after all, I'm as free as the sand. But even the freest sand should rest in an oasis. Uh, it's getting late, so let's get some rest. I'll be on the lookout tonight. Uh, I'll sleep well with you on the lookout, father. You hear your brother softly and casually sing a peaceful tune as you fall asleep. Maybe it's an old local song. Uh, oh, stars high above the wasteland. Oh, nightingales weary from the day. It's time to take off the crown of roses. Uh, cleanse yourself with wine made, of, made from grapes. They have grapes in the tenders. Sleep, close your eyes, young Gondor slumber, summons the wandering saint. Drink not the bitter salt water, for the sorrows of tomorrow have gone away. 
they also don't seem to have a notion to know salt water. Mm, camping out in the desert is terrible. Oh, come on, why are you being so negative again? Well, the two of you are adventurers. Let's talk about you instead. Jet. Uh, how can a young girl like you endure sleeping on the same white dress like that? I just can't figure it out for the life of me. Is that just such a pampered guy? Tell me, will even a bean placed under 10 mattresses disturb your sleep? Of course not. Anyway, why would anyone sleep on 10 mattresses? Uh, I don't know, perhaps it might be a hobby of the wealthy, for all you know. But you should have expected that you'll have to camp outside. What else can we do anyway? Go back the way we came? Of course not. The material gathered yesterday isn't enough to write anything good. Forget submitting it to the academia. Just reading it at the square will be will get me ridiculed. Uh, looks like we st we've still got some spirits. Of course, this huge ruin is right before me. Uh, it must be the Kemeno Temple. As a researcher, I must go go in and have a look, right? And there it is, this Bamban. Uh, right, Bamban. What a strange thing. I mean, such an extraordinary thing. Might even be closely linked to King Deshred's civilization. If that's true, I can't turn a blind eye on it. Going back the way we came could, would be worse than putting a being beneath my mattress. Uh, you may as well have me sleep atop a hundred bang bangs. I never sleep again. hundred bang bangs? And that would really hurt. Anyway, before I collect enough material for my paper, uh, I mean, until I figure everything out, I shall not leave. I paid all of you very well too, so if we do encounter danger, I'm calling on you to earn the pay. Hey, come on. Aren't we already companions on this journey? Of course we will protect you in the face of danger. My father and I are professionals. Eh, hey, this is amazing too. You have nothing to worry about. Who knows what the future holds? Better be safe than sorry. Father? The merchants can rest in the oasis while we are away. Gladly. We've discussed our contingent plans. But we must bury some of our supplies before we leave. In the worst case scenario, the merchants may be forced to leave. This way, we will still have some supplies to come back to even if that happens. Uh, is that really necessary? Others may descend and you pay with your life. Uh, since it's father, he definitely has his reason. Uh, well, it's always a good idea to prepare for everything every possibility. We'll do as Jabrael says and carefully bury some supplies. They should do, right? Let's set out then. And slow down, my hangover isn't still. And Gisele, you better hurry up, or someone else might publish a paper about this before you. Don't say things like that. And is ready? Let's go too. That's like a second part of the quest or something. I thought the quest was in here. No, 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 no. I think this will take a little while. I guess I'll stop here.